Welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. We are going thrifting. I have no business thrifting, friends. I have about, I'm not exaggerating to you, 200 pieces of inventory that need to be photographed and listed. But I can't help myself. It is dollar day. If you are new around these parts, I live in Los Angeles and in Southern California. There is dollar day every Thursday. So every week, a different color is a dollar. It's usually the inventory that's been in the store the longest, but I still find great stuff on Dollar Day. I really have no business being here. I honestly feel guilty doing this. I have a bit of a cold, not the Rona. I have a sinus infection, um, so I might sound a little scratchy. This happens to me every change of season. Anybody else have a lot of sinus stuff? I, it always happens to me. Um, anyways, let's go shopping. Let's see what we can find. Give this a thumbs up for Thrift With Me videos. I'm actually going to hit Marshalls after this. So if you're into Amazon and retail arbitrage videos and I look similar, I'm not sure which video is going to go up first. That's where I'm going next. I was in the area for work. If you're new here, I have a million jobs. I am a real estate agent and I was doing a showing. So if you need a real estate agent, shameless plug, always leave my email down below. Let's go friends. Getting the obligatory shot of walking into the store, friends. Let's do this. Love these shoes. They're Rebecca Minkoff. If I can find them, um, I'll link them down below. I got them at Nordstrom Rack. All right, friends. As soon as you walk in the door, you see a huge wall of dresses at this store and I'm not kidding when I say it is like an entire wall of this very big store. Um, I have never been to this thrift store which is kind of shocking to me because after living in Los Angeles for 11 years I don't want to say I've been to all of the Southern California Goodwills but I've been to most of them you guys probably like 80 or 90 percent so I always love when I find a new store especially a Goodwill that I haven't been to man this store was a little pricey we'll talk about it a little more when we get into the car and we do a little haul but their dresses most of them were starting at $9.99 and usually in Southern California the dresses are usually starting at like $7.99. A lot of these dresses were $9.99, $14.99. So I was just a little bit shocked by the pricing. And a lot of the dresses that they were marking at these prices, so as you can see, are like uh, Calvin Klein or Target or H&M. I mean, cute stuff, really good condition. I just, it's, you know, a little bit more than I'm used to. But I kept going because on Dollar Day, like I said, I usually find really good Dollar Day items, but I also find normal priced items that are just worth picking up. This David's Bridal Dress, they had marked it $14.99. I can bet you that'll be a Dollar Day item in a couple of weeks. So on this day, dollar items were anything that is purple tagged. So I was looking for purple tags, but just also anything. Uh, this dress was $9.99 I think and then it marked down to a dollar it's Donna Morgan but it had a lot of stains I really try not to buy anything white or super light in the thrift store because just because the lighting is just so bad that sometimes I think I don't see any stains and sometimes I do this guest dress that kind of rhymes guest dress that does rhyme <laughs> oh my gosh only child humor everything makes me laugh um, this was a dollar because it's purple tag, so I did decide to pick that up. Really good condition. Guess actually sells pretty good for me. I have a good sell-through rate. It's just the length of time it takes to sell for me is quite a bit, so I don't pick it up as much as I used to. Usually, guess will take me months, if not a year or two, to sell. We're going to talk about this dress again in the car. Um, I'm checking it out. I won't spoil that for you, so... Let's just keep going through the store and I will check in with you if there's anything important to note.
next I moved on to like jackets and sweaters. Um, yeah, friends. Didn't find much here. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Their pricing was just, I don't know. Wow. Banana Republic, $14.99. I just, I was just a little shocked, and I'll tell you this in the car, because I'm kind of out in the burbs. I'm like, mm, 40 minutes outside of, like, Los Angeles proper, and usually not all the time. These stores are a little bit more affordable than, like, where I live, uh, closer to the coast. And this is, like, the total opposite. Just pretty pricey stuff for what it is. But, hey... I don't know. They had a line that was going like out the door. So people are buying this stuff. I, but it was dollar day. So yeah, I'll just be, I'd love to visit the store again in a couple months to see if their pricing structure changes because it's just such a big store. They have so much inventory. I wonder if they don't start moving through it fast enough because their prices are a little bit higher if, um, if they'll change their pricing. I was thinking about picking up this jacket. Um, it felt like it was real leather, but upon inspection, it was like a leather blend and, uh, the comps just weren't there. I can't even remember the brand you guys, cause I did not, uh, get a really good close up, but I'm pretty sure this brand was sold at Anthro long ago. Um, lots of Jones, New York, lots of mall brands. They did have actually quite a few actual real leather jackets, but they just weren't in really good condition. So I decided to pass on those. Um, I thought that this jacket felt nice. The way I go through things so quickly is I look at brand first. I touch the item to see what it feels like, and then I'll look at material. Um, so I found that that's one of the fastest ways for me to get through as much of a store as possible. Brand, touch, you know, feeling the material, and then looking at price. Um, Actually, I look at price first before material, but it just helps a lot. Uh, I did check out this BB Bebe. <laughs> you guys know I struggle with that coat. It was not real leather, so I kept it moving. I could actually tell it wasn't real leather just by touching it. Um, this jacket was $9.99. So I went through jackets, and then after that, uh, I went through sweaters. And this store is just big. You will see. I'll check back in a second. Okay, after coats, I saw this Puma jacket. Puma sells for me, but kind of like guess, it just takes forever to sell. So even though this was a dollar, I passed on it. Back in my early days of when Dollar Day started, you guys, I would just pick up everything if it was a dollar, but I'm way more selective now. Just because it's a dollar does not mean I should pick it up if it's not going to sell or if it's just going to sit for years. Like I have some Puma pieces, you guys that I haven't sold in two, three years. Jones Studio, I loved this color, I love the size, um, but I would have to send this to ThreadUp. Actually, I'm able to print ThreadUp labels now, uh, but they're just taking so long to process boxes that I just decided to pass on this, trying to be more selective. Um, next up, I found this Le Suit Woman Suit, Women's, <laughs> it says woman, but it's women's suit. Um, I usually send this brand to ThreadUp, but they don't sell suits the last time I checked at ThreadUp. So I decided to pass on this because they would have separated it and sold it, but I mean, it really should be sold as a set. Even though this was a dollar, it felt like silk, but it was not. It was polyester and it did have a couple signs of wear. So I decided to pass on that. And next up, I moved to shoes. Now these leather boots I'm about to show you, 
retail this brand retails for anywhere from like 150 to 200 bucks really nice leather boots but they had them priced at 40 and the comps for this brand are all over the place so retail great amount resell they resell anywhere from like 35 to 80 bucks and i just didn't want to risk it when goodwill had them marked at uh, 39.99 so i passed on those these were brand new. These are Mark New York heels. They were from Ross originally, and Goodwill had them priced at $15. I said, nay, 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 nay. And I don't even know what the Ross price was, but I was just like, at this point, I'm like, okay, this store is kind of wild. <laughs> oh, their pricing is just interesting. I actually own these Sam Edelman shoes. I wear them to work all the time. Super comfy heel. I love a heel. Um, and they're just black, you know, I can throw them on with like anything. So I love having those shoes. I would have picked those up if they were priced a little better because a lot of people love that style of shoe. Charles by Charles David. These were marked at 12 bucks and they had huge signs of wear. So I decided to pass on these. I think this is the point when I realized like how big this store is because the shoe section was huge also. Look at those cool shoes. Um, those were Madden girls, so I passed on those. I do enjoy selling Steve Madden shoes, especially more current styles. Um, I was checking out these boots because they felt like real leather, but they were really banged up. I mean, if you wanted to put some elbow grease into those, you could make those nice. These Lucky Brand shoes, they had marked at $10. I said, no, thank you to those. And so I check out the shoe section for quite a bit. Then I check out the purses, and then we move on to hard goods. I thought I wasn't in this store for very long, but it kind of was, actually. I just didn't get to go through all of the store because, uh, well, I'll explain it to you in the car. <laughs> know I love selling hard goods if you're new around here I probably love selling hard goods more than I do, do enjoy sell uh, what I love selling hard goods more than I enjoy selling clothing they're easy to photograph uh, lots of profit to be made sometimes there's a little bit more work up front especially for things like electronics but I love selling hard goods you guys um, I was checking out this thing I couldn't figure out was this a toaster it says on it, I knew the day when I was filming this, but I can't remember now when I'm editing what that was, but that thing was pretty beat up. Lots of hard goods here though. 
Um, this store doesn't like mark if things work or not. When I went thrifting in San Diego at that huge thrift store, I was so excited. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. They actually marked on the item whether it worked or not. Um, I did look up that yellow thing that I can't recall what it is now, and the comps weren't that high, so I passed on that. I, someone just left this dress behind. It was 100% silk. It was marked at $9.99. Um, so I decided to pass on that because comps weren't that great for that. So I probably could have made 20 but the sell-through rate on that, again, was not very high, so I passed. I was going to look up these Christmas lights, but I just didn't want to have to test them. And Christmas lights can be so finicky, you guys. So sometimes when I'm not in the mood to test things, I just will skip electronics. These guitars, uh, these little toy guitars, you can actually make pretty good money selling those on like Facebook Marketplace. I have been killing it on Facebook Marketplace, by the way. In September, I made an extra thousand bucks selling the most random stuff like this thing on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to film a video for you guys, um, giving you a review of it. I just wanted to wait because I wanted to give it some time, but I'm really enjoying that platform. So I went through hard goods and by this time I had had it, friends. So we're going to do a mini car haul where I show you what I picked up. I thought about picking up this little set just for myself, um, but Ulta is going to have some new sales come up, so I decided to pass on that. But $3.99 for this isn't bad. I thought of giving it to someone for a Christmas present. So let's go do a car haul. All right, friends, I am back. Um, <coughs> my sinus infection. That place was huge. I did not have the patience to be in there. The workers were really loud and they were just like talking about a bunch of stuff. And I was just like, all right, I don't feel that great. I have a sinus situation, but I have a new bolo for you. I can't tell you how many times I've passed up this brand. The brand is custom made and it's a little tricky when you look up comps because a lot of custom made dresses or whatever you're searching for, like I typed in custom made dress and a lot of stuff like on Etsy, like things that are custom made for people. So you have to put custom made the brand and then they also make it a little bit easier for, well, a lot easier. And they have the style name of the items on the tag. So this style name is Mette Marie and it has the style number. So that made it a lot easier. You guys, this dress, retailed for $200. It is missing um, the belt, but I'll just notate that. I'm still gonna sell this. I showed you in there, Goodwill had it listed for $14.99 and I got it for a dollar. I'm so excited, I'm gonna get this listed immediately. I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> come on Nikki, you can make it through. I'm pretty sure this is a European brand because I could only find it on European websites. Like one I found that kept coming up was called The Dressing Room. So I don't know, just trying to figure out where it was sold. Picked up this Tahari jacket. You guys, bear with me. It literally feels like, I try not to touch my face when I'm touching these clothes. It feels like my head is in like a fish bowl and I can hear myself, but I'm like talking underwater. That's what a sinus infection feels like to me. Um, Tahari, size 18. I love picking up Tahari. Look at how big my eyes get. Tahari on dollar day because it does really, really well for me on thread up. So size 18, business wear has been picking up for me. Got this for a dollar. Originally they were charging 99. This store's kind of pricey. I'm kind of out there. I'm in the suburbs. And this store is like more expensive than a lot of Los Angeles proper thrift stores. Not as expensive as the Beverly Hills thrift store. If you have not seen those come thrift with me, I will link it down below. That is one of the most high priced thrift stores. Uh, this is Guess by Maraschino, size six. It's just a basic beige dress that you could wear to work. You could wear on a date if you wanted to have it. I This is meant to be very form-fitting because I'm a size 6, 8 postpartum life. Usually I'm a size 4, 6, but this would be very tight for a size 6. Um, $9.99. Like, I don't know. They price all their dresses at $9.99. So anyways, I ended up spending a total 
of four dollars i donated a dollar to their goodwill program and so i got three items for four bucks i could have got so much more stuff but like i said the employees were just super loud and they were just talking and talking and i was like my head feels like it's under water i have to get out of here so i'm gonna go and have some tea the rest of my voice hopefully you enjoyed subscribe give this video a thumbs up for more thrift store finds and i will see you soon ciao